So the Holy Spirit is the conference chair. Uh, I just have a, a role as being a vessel. And what I really want to talk about very quickly is prayer. This white basket is more than just a wicker basket. It's our adversary, it's your pipeline for our ministry to pray for you. This other basket here are for Q&As that you might have for our featured speakers later this afternoon. But back to prayer. Our leadership team has been praying for every one of you. We've prayed for the men who might have registered but were not able to attend today. We've prayed for all the personal situations, the tragedies, the sorrows that you might be going through. We've uplifted the prayers for all the joy and the thanksgiving that you might be experiencing. But the point is, prayer is the powerful tool that we use to ask God for His mercy and for His forgiveness and give gratitude for His love. I am very, very fortunate to have been at all 12 of these conferences over the years. They started first at my home parish where I'm a proud third degree knight of 11716 at Prince of Peace Catholic Community. And we outgrew the size and I love being here in Frisco. I told you I've been to all these conferences and I'm not lying, but I technically wasn't here two years ago when Father Larry Richards in the peak of COVID spoke from this very church. I joined this conference from this very phone, from a hospital bed. I was at Texas Health Plano Presby. I was being treated for COVID pneumonia. The day after the conference, I went to ICU for eight and a half days and was intubated. And I'm holding up what's known as an oximeter. For those of you who keep track of your health, you know that your blood oxygen level is supposed to be from 95 to 100. I went into the hospital with asthma and it got worse. It dropped down to 50, 50. And so there was a night when the doctors called my wife and said, we've done all we can do. However, the prayers of hundreds of thousands of people washed upon me in that hospital bed. And if you remember, for some of you, when you were a little kid, we had that little toy called a Viewmaster, and you put a little disc in there, and you click it, and it would take you around the world. It would show you different ballparks. That was my way to visit the world. I didn't have a Viewmaster with me, but God graced me with the equivalent of what I called a Love Master. And very quickly, it allowed me to see not just my friends and family and associates and members of this group praying for me, but it was praying for me real time. I literally saw, transcended through supernatural power, people praying for me in their kitchens, at softball fields, at bowling alleys, in their schools, in their churches. My mother kept reciting the same words over and over to me. And I later found out upon our reunion, I said, Mom, this is the prayer and I want to, I'm writing it down because I don't want to uh, tip you off. This is what you were praying over and over for me repeatedly. And this is the vision that you, the picture that was behind you. And I said, so what were you praying for me? And she said, I kept praying over and over, Jesus, take care of my son. Jesus, take care of my son. And she says, and I was in front of this picture that your grandmother had given to me. Mary was in a garden and a strong Jesus was holding a strong you. I flipped over my note card and that's what she read. It's the exact image, the exact prayer, the exact place where she was. I was physically transported through the power of prayer. And that is what exalted me back to good health. The nurses came in and said, who are you watching? What is this going on? I said, it's the 10th annual North Texas Catholic Men's Conference. It's Father Larry Richards. These are my brothers. Surely the nurses had more things to do, but one of them said, can I watch some of that with you? Another nurse came in. They stayed for 10 minutes and joined us in this conference. That's the power of prayer. When the nurse came in and told me, could you please take off your necklace? 
I'm messing this up here, so I won't grab it, said, could you take off your necklace? And I said, my necklace? And I said, you mean my crucifix and my medallions of various saints? I said, no, ma'am, that's not coming off. That's my cornerstone. It's staying on. And it stayed on all 22 days of that hospital stay. So fast forward, I won't fill in all the stories, but we had a small house fire two months prior to that, that got fixed. Our house was flooded in February, that got fixed. We lived in a hotel for three months. My wife, our youngest daughter and I all had COVID. We all recovered. And how did we recover? Through prayer. So I just wanna wrap up by saying, again, whether you are a wanderer, a seeker, a disciple or a joyful disciple. God brought you here for a reason. Some of you may say, I'm not quite sure why I'm here. But as Father already said, and Dave said, God's going to do great things for us today. And that's my prayer for you. I strongly encourage you to take advantage of this prayer basket today. We want to be praying for you. And I am just so eternally grateful that I might not have been here. But I dreamt of this day. And God's like, you're going to be OK. And as soon as I said, Satan, get behind me, Jesus, I'm a child of yours, that's when that number started going up from 50, 60, 70, 80. And then I was out of the hospital. So I take great uh, gratitude in the Lord.